wasn't that I lacked confidence in being an engineer. It was, you know, was I being realistic? Was this going to happen? Was I qualified? Could I ever be qualified? Those were all questions. And what I decided in the end is that if I didn't try, I would kick myself the rest of my life. <laughs> I'm Professor Bonnie J. Dunbar, and this is my Katie story. And we have launch of the Mir-18 mission. Congratulations, Space Shuttle Atlantis, Space Station Mir. After 20 years, our spacecraft are docked in orbit again. There's nothing there. You set up a tent, there's no running water, no electricity. You have to make the land produce. I never felt that we were wanting here we were in the great outdoors, eastern Washington, four seasons in the year, we raised crops, I had a horse before I could walk, and as a child, I was just interested in space. I, when we finally uh, bought a TV and I was about eight or nine, if I finished my chores, I was allowed to watch Flash Gordon. I felt exploration was something that I wanted to do. So Sputnik was part of that convergence of events that brought me to space. It's that part of history that says now we're, we're transferring from science fiction from H into something that can be done. The science and mathematics that you learn in high school will open the doors to 75% of all careers. Kappa Delta was very proud, I think, of their academic records. And well, that's what a sorority is all about, right, is developing sisters. You have to realize I, I grew up with two brothers, and because we lived so far away from towns, there were not a lot of sleepovers and socialization events. So uh, quite frankly, girls were a little bit foreign to me. <laughs> My first flight was in 1985. Every time we fly, we're allowed to take items for universities and organizations. That's where I took uh, items uh, for Kappa Delta. We had a seven-day mission. It was really an incredible mission. Great views of the Earth, but also doing a lot of microgravity research. I think you measure success by how far you progress against your own goals. If you know you've earned it, you've worked for it, you've earned it, that's how you build confidence. Too often we turn girls off to math, we tell them it's too hard or they don't need it, and yet they use it all the time. I would like to see, quite selfishly, Kappa Delta produce more engineers and scientists. We need to not fall back on stereotypes that are 50 years old or more. We need to encourage our girls and say, follow your dreams. Remember that math's the tool, whether you're going to be on Wall Street or you're going to be designing the next medical device or you're going to space. Mm -hmm.